like a swamp out there. Tarp's got a big puddle of water in it. Well, we expected a little bit of rain, but this was not part of the plan. Good afternoon. We are camping again, and this time we're in the woods. Here he is, look. This is Howard, Mr. Potsy's Pie Club himself. Pleased to meet you. Today I'm going to be in for a treat. We're having a, well, a feast, a banquet. You've not tried it yet. Yeah, well, I've heard, I've heard tales, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get set up and then um, we're going to have a bit of a natter around the campfire. Ready made bag hook. Yeah, this is my escape from there. Perfect. It's lovely, isn't it? In fact, it's perfect conditions for being in the woods. Perfect again, first time. Usually I've got to mess about adjusting the height. So when I got this hammock, this was a lot longer. You used to have to wrap it around the tree trunk somehow, uh, using tree hookers. But I've cut it down, put a new knot on it, and then put a carabiner on, so it's much easier to do now. However, the tarp's supposed to attach to, to this webbing here, this strapping or whatever it's called. So now I just have to put it on separately. Shouldn't be a big deal. Famous last words. Do not hard work without me, look. <laughs> Still prefer a tent. Bloody hell. Nowhere near. Whoa! Well, that's one way <laughs> it's on fire anyway. I think he set me up. That one's got a knot in it, look. Look at knot there. There it is, look, hiding it behind his hands. Come on then, show me how it's done now. It's better than me, to be fair. Proper workout, it's too hot for this kind of stuff. I don't even need a fire today. <laughs> See, won't just me. Can't even get the axe out, it's that hard. Cool. I might try that little bit of birch afterwards. I'm back it now. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> nearly split. There, that's, that is the thing, look, there. Big nut. Try a baby one. Well, I'll probably miss it. There we go, look. Told you I'd set me up. You can use the actual weight of the axe, can't you? Hospitality is good though, thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, I mentioned in video, probably like it's today, but. <laughs> You might have seen it a couple of days ago. Why I chose this sleeping pad? Potsy's got an underquilt, which is much better to be honest with you, but I don't use a hammock enough to warrant one. If I it else, I'll get lynched.
So in a hammock, you don't need to have your sleeping pad fully inflated. This pad's a bit more flexible, so you can you know, move it around easily and it, it bends and all that kind of stuff. So it makes it much better in a hammock than say a Thermarest or an X-Bed, something like that. I'll show you what an underquilt looks like in a second. I'm going to have a nosy. Here we go, here's how I'd set up. So underquilt, it's surprising that you need some sort of in insulation underneath you in a hammock. You would think that you'd just need your sleeping bag, but you know, the wind comes across here in the middle of the night. And it actually makes you very cold. Even in summer weather, you can still get cold if you haven't got some sort of insulation underneath. Job done. All right, apparently gout is on the rise in the UK. And I think this is why. Look at that for just a little snack. So you made that yourself yesterday? Yeah, just knocked it up yesterday. Knocked it up. When you said you were coming camping. What we got? We got pork and black pudding. Wow. So dig in. I will do. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh look. Proper Mister's mustard as well. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, he's got your little logo on as well. Yeah, yeah. Luke at York Knife did it. Right, that is not one portion, by the way. No, no, just. <laughs> half the campsite ends up. I end up feeding half the campsite. Board. So you have to you make the pie and then you pour the jelly in through the hole afterwards. Is yeah, that right? That's it. Yeah. Did it this morning. Jellied it this morning. That's lovely. Got. Right, so this place where we're camping is called Candy Corner Bushcraft. Here's the sheriff himself, and he's come to collect his taxes. Or to... <laughs> Fire's getting ready to get some steaks on soon. Pork pie's about gone. I'm going to give you a bit of a tour of the rest of the site. So the great thing about this is you can <laughs> park your car literally yards away from where you want to camp. There's plenty of spaces for tents, as well as hammocks. There's plenty of wildlife as well, look. Peacock. Don't see many of those around here. So there's a few other people camping on here today. This is Chris, I met him earlier. Hey, Paul. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm not being eaten by bugs anymore. Oh, you're not? Now you've lit the fire. That's nice, yeah. So Chris is making a video as well. Little YouTube channel? Yeah, I've got like 360 sub subs at the moment, so it's so pretty small. But it's, uh, I'm allowed to say it on the. Of course you can, mate. Uh, Chris M Outdoors, if you'd be kind Chris enough. Chris M Outdoors. Have a look. I tend to just sit here, usually have my dog. Yeah, make sure to check him out. Let's see if we can get him over 500 subscribers. Oh, thank you. Potatoes in the pot. That, now that is a piece of meat. You're not eating that all by yourself, are you? It's like a lollipop, I think. <laughs> yeah. Still frozen. Trusty Lanshan. Yeah, the ground's not great for the pegs, to be honest, down here. But, it's a bit um, hard, isn't it? Yeah, but I've rigged it up. Hopefully it'll be all right. How's your site up there? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, you know, we've we've gone for hammocks, so it's we're off the ground anyway. So, nice. yeah, pretty good set up here. Ah, oh, cheers. This is Dan. Now, he's got himself sorted out with this place. How many shelters does one man need? Well, in case it rains, you can't be just punched under where Can't be too careful. Where hammock lives, can you? No. So he's also built this as well. So Ants said it's all right for him to build a permanent shelter. So he's still got a little bit more to do on it, but not too bad, is it? Have you made the bow saw yourself? Getting there. Oh, so that's what you did. Yeah, so you've... Some fine tuning to get on with. So I've made one myself, but a much rougher version, just with like... Oh, that's still pretty rough. Yeah, no, but there's no shaping or proper joints and stuff in it. But yeah, you just buy one of the blades, don't you? What's going on the fire for tea later? Steak, veg and taties. It must be a man thing, because <laughs> have you seen them? Um, so Chris is over there, he's oh, got yeah. a tomahawk, the, you know, it's massive, it looks like a guitar. It's no, mine's a, mine's a mere sirloin, yeah. only a baby one in, in comparison. Um, sure. And Potsy's got something going on the grill in a minute, so I'm going to go and 
devour some steak yeah, myself. Yeah, treats. Why not? All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the evening, mate, and I'll you. catch you later. Thanks a lot, pal. See you in a bit. Cheers, Dan. I didn't get too close. So I'm going to melt the lens. <laughs> There's some right um, heat coming from that. Look at that. What course is this? This is starter. <laughs> starter. Yeah. Well, I suppose we've had starter. We've had cheese that's already. Starter, so what's on the seasoning and stuff? It's a Jamaican jerk seasoning. Oh, wow. That's very good. Um, with chorizo on. And sweet red pepper. What are they? 30 day mature, you said? Dry aged mature. Yeah. There we go, happy days, thank you. Perfect, that mate, thank you. A bit of English. Yeah, I would love a bit of English, thank you. <laughs> it's not the perfect blade for your English mustard, though. <laughs> it's really good, thank you. It's not done before, I can stick it back on a bit. Nah, that's perfect, thank you. Alright, so next up we've got flat iron steaks, one with soy sauce and... One with soy sauce and I think the other one's... Um, oh, I can't remember to be honest, but... <laughs> Something nice anyway. I've not had flat iron before, I'm looking forward to it. Like one of them steak Instagram reels, isn't it? <laughs> you follow the steak things. Or anything steak. It's what a Mora was made for, isn't it? And it certainly is. That's Scandi grind. Ooh. Trying to get away. Joe's not going to be happy when she sees this. <laughs> I'll have to send her some sausage rolls. <laughs> no substitute. <laughs> Just Fan it, it out. There you go. It's even delivering it look like a waiter service. That go. is awesome. Thank you. That is next level. Flat iron. See what all the fuss is about. Let's go big blade. <laughs> Gotta use all the tools, haven't I? Oh yeah, that's better than the last one. I'm not saying the last one was bad, but that is different, isn't it? It's a different level, isn't it? Almost as good as one of those dehydrated meals, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Thank you for inviting me along today. Yeah, no worries. It's been great. So I've been here before. We've looked back at my... Uh, 2021 was the last time I came here, December. The site was very much different then. Um, Ant's done quite a lot of work clearing and stuff like that. I'm assuming other people that have come and used the site frequently have also helped out as well. Um, there's loads of little great places to pitch up. You've got one of the best spots over there, haven't you? Nice bit of grass underneath. Smoke's following me. Always follows me. You not think you've bitten off a bit more than you can chew there? Oh, I will see. <laughs> never, never give in, Paul. Never give in. That's the money shot. Have it. <laughs> it's gone. Right, I'm getting out of the way now. There's bits of shrapnel flying everywhere. <laughs> Could watch that all night, can't you? Four hundred percent. I do. <laughs> Fall to sleep. Usually fall to sleep in chairs, Good morning. I'm glad I'm in the hammock. Like a swamp out there. Tarp's got a big puddle of water in it. Proper chucked it down. So we expected a little bit of rain, but this was not part of the plan.
I've raised the tarp up a little bit this end, this was full of water. I just want to be able to sit down and make a coffee. Foxy's packed up already, I reckon he's had enough. <laughs> It's all right under here though, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine under here. Oh, I should have bought a bigger tarp. <laughs> Say, Joe took him to Bakewell yesterday, back of her car, but... Lesson learned. The UK summertime weather, eh? Yeah, yeah. Right, may as well get this set up here. This is, I've not used it in ages, the Firebox Nano. Literally, sets up in no time at all. There we go, job done already. And then there's these two little, there they are. Two little prongs. They go through there. Normally I use this as a wood burner. While that boils, I'm going to hide under the tarp. You have room for two? Yeah, there'll be room under here. Oh dear. There's a rather large drowned rat. Biblical rain, isn't it? Mm, it certainly is. Come on, I want to brew. There's usually no rush when it comes to alcohol stoves, but <laughs> I'm in a bit more of a rush today. Features in every video, you know, or just about. <laughs> it's done more mileage than me, I think. You know, when your little sugar things start to go soggy. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> just had to refill the Trangia, Nami lighters. <laughs> it's wet as well. Everything is drenched. Got a spare somewhere, so should be all right. There we go. We're back in the game. Windy, it's raining. Nothing wants to work. Well, that's boiling. Might as well take the sleeping pad down and there. So the beauty of coming somewhere like this, where your car is literally 30 yards away, is that there's no fancy packing. None of that is going back in the bag, it's just going in the boot and I'm going to worry about it when I get home. <laughs> Great isn't it when you can do that? Brilliant, just throw it in, throw it, throw it all in the boot. <laughs> that's better, that's why I ran out of fuel before, I didn't bring a windshield. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wind's changed. Maybe it's not better. <laughs> <laughs> need a windshield for the windshield. I was, I was expecting him to be on fire this morning. But, not happening was it? No. Yeah, it doesn't always go to plan, but you just have to embrace it and make the rest of it. Improvise. <laughs> that was harder work than it needed to be. Got a sneaky feeling that these handles are going to be a bit... Look at that, look. That's only been out of the pot. Ten minutes. There's one, you just want hot water in, mate. Yes, please, up you go. Collect moments, not things. Can't argue with that, can you? There we go. Spin them legs around. The faces outwards. Save a bit of fuel. What's that? The hot chocolate. I believe in miracles. Yeah, a bit of Errol. <laughs> to be honest. It's 
Right, there's no fancy packing away today. I'm going to be calling the video in a second, but I want to say a big thank you to Howard for inviting me along. Make sure to check out Potsy's Pie Pots, Club. Potsy's Pie Club on Facebook. Yeah. Or the Wandering Pieman on, uh, on Instagram. Instagram. And Candy Corner Bushcraft is where we are today. Go check them out on Facebook as well. Um, great place to come if you're, if you're a bit nervous about wild camping for the first time. Um, worried about whether it's legal or not. Well, it's definitely legal here and you can have a good time, can't you? Yeah, just, just watch out for the sheriff coming in there, uh, drinking your beer and eating your food. Yeah, it's collecting his taxes. <laughs> right, I am going to pack this away. I'm literally just going to run with it and chuck it in the boot of the car. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.